Hey guys, it's Kyle from VetsaShare. I'm just going to go over a, a few things in the market. There isn't very much volume going on, but if this uh, one thing happens to the DXY, it could trigger a fairly large pump for the cryptocurrency space. So I just want to show you what I see on my side, and then let's, yeah, let's dive right on into it. All right, cool. So I'm on the... Um, 30 minute chart for the DXY just so we can see a um, more of a breakdown of the hourly chart. So right now the DXY is holding the support at uh, 103.9. If that were to break we could see a resistance happening at 103.9. If that happens we'll see a double top formation play out and to grab the target for the double top formation let's go for the conservative target which you never know. Um, bringing it down to the neckline. All right, cool. And this is the technical target of this double top formation if it were to play out. So first we need to see the price action for the US dollar come down, use this as resistance, and then we'll come down and uh, we'll have a fight around 103.5. If we end up breaking the support level, we may come back down and retest it and what could end up happening is this micro formation, this micro M formation could turn into a macro setup for a bigger drop. So we would have this acting as a top and this also acting as a top here. And if that, if this micro M formation plays out and gives enough momentum, we could end up seeing it break this neckline right here, get the conservative target from that neckline and we can see the US dollar coming all the way down to potentially 102.05 where there isn't actually very much support down below 103.07 so just uh, yeah you want to make sure you watch this fairly carefully especially when you're trading crypto because everything's against the US dollar um, so if, ended, if this ends up breaking down getting uh, resistance here and we get enough momentum to break this then things are going to look pretty rough short term for the US dollar and we can see it going down uh, quite a bit. So the technical target for the micro M is at uh, 102.9, but um, while you're in a long position, because you'll be doing a long position with Bitcoin, if this were to go down, uh, make sure you start taking profits when we start seeing support off of these levels, because if it bounces back up, it's going to affect your Bitcoin trade. Um, but yeah, guys, this is everything I've got for you with the DXY. Going over to Bitcoin, um, you can see that there's nothing really going on. We had a first take profit of the rising wedge formation, uh, but we're finding fairly strong support. There's a lot of buyers trying to defend this level, and this is a really key level of interest in the VPVR, uh, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so basically everyone's just trying to defend the $20,000 level, and it's starting to form a broadening wedge off of the uh, rising wedge um, breakout which is also uh, not as bearish as the rising wedge, but it's still technically bearish. Um, the only technical trade that I've got for you guys that you could look at is XRP. Now, I don't own XRP, and I don't, um, I don't really support XRP, but it doesn't mean we can't trade it to earn an income. So right now, we can see that there's a breakout of this downtrending level of resistance. And the technical target is around 36 cents. If we end up, you know, getting this bounce, this volume supported bounce off this breakout, because we're getting the confirmation right now, uh, we could end up seeing it go to these levels. But you got to pay attention to these areas of interest that could act as resistance, which is roughly around here at uh, 34 cents. And the bottom of this take profit zone is around 35 cents. So if you start seeing support here, if we uh, end up breaking, if you entered off of this bounce here, um, I would, if you're late, I'd recommend waiting until we break this little micro M uh, W's neckline. Uh, enter here. It may not be as uh, profitable, but it'll be more safe because you would have that confirmation that the momentum is gonna be strong enough to break it to the upside. Um, anyways, yeah, if we end up breaking above this and it starts acting as support because of this area of interest right here. Then you can raise your stop loss to just below the support that it creates and then uh, ride it as long as you possibly can. 
But yeah, I guess that's everything I got for you. If you have any questions about this XRP potential trade, um, not financial advice, obviously, uh, you could always reach out to me on Discord and I'll do my best to help you out. And uh, yeah, have yourself an amazing day and thanks for joining.